Om Namah Shiva students. Hope you have completed your question writing. The last day, what I taught, you have completed the writing and you have learned also the question answer. Learn the question answer, okay? So today we will start with the next part of the question answers of the chapter three. How the art moves of your learning a social studies book five. So get ready with your SST copy and your blue ink pen. If you want to take your book, that also you can keep. I am dictating the questions as well as answers. So write question number E. Answer the following questions in detail. Answer the following questions in detail. Question number E. Done. Now leave one line and write question number one. Explain the reason for occurrence of. Explain the reason. For occurrence of seasons at different times of the year in the two hemispheres. In the two hemispheres. Full stop. Explain the reason for occurrence of seasons at different times of the year in the hemispheres. Now leave one line, write the answer. Seasons are caused due to the Movement of the earth on its axis around the sun. Full stop. When northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun comma it has summer while the southern hemisphere which is tilted away from the sun receives less sun rays and experiences winter full stop When the earth revolves to the other part of the orbit comma southern hemisphere faces the sun and experiences summer during this period experiences summer write one comma 
during this period northern hemisphere experiences winter seasons full stop now i'm repeating the answers again seasons are caused due to the movement of the earth on its axis full stop no on its axis around the sun full stop seasons are caused due to the movement of the earth on its axis around the sun full stop when northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun comma it has summer while the southern hemisphere which is tilted away from the sun receives less sun rays and experiences winter full stop when the earth revolves to the other part of the orbit comma southern hemisphere faces the sun and experiences summer comma during this period the northern hemisphere experiences winter season full stop done now leave one line right question number 2 what is the significance of the rotation of the earth on its axis as in ma what is the significance of the rotation of the earth on its axis leave one line write the answer the earth takes 24 hours or one day to complete one rotation on its axis full stop now go to the next line give a bullet means point right it causes days and nights on the earth full stop come to the next line give another bullet second bullet and write it gives us the concept of direction based on 
sunrise and sunset full stop again next line give one bullet right it causes tides it causes tides twice a day full stop done again next line give another bullet right it causes the tidal waves in the sea full stop repeating the answer it is finished again repeating the answer of number 2 the earth takes 24 hours or one day to complete one rotation on its axis full stop in the next line the first bullet after that you are writing it causes days and nights on the earth full stop in the next line give second bullet it gives us the concept of direction based on sunrise and sunset full stop third point or third bullet in the next line you are writing it causes tides twice a day full stop next line the fourth bullet and there you are writing it causes the tidal waves in the sea finished so learn this question answer two question answers today i have given before that the short question answers you have got learn them and when you have written this question number 2 what is the significance of the rotation of the earth or on its axis beside that means you are getting the white page in that white page you will draw the picture of rotation of the earth you will get it from your book do that and uh, complete your drawing to leveling also with that drawing clear so today i'm ending my class here om namah shivaya